upon the throne, the mountain god U himself, without Ray at Dana's love, the darkness had swollen inside him, consuming and uncontainable. Jealousy would swallow her children. Heavy as iron and difficult to breathe in, the air burned their lungs. It was pitch black. The light meant protection and hope. And the Bergson had to rescue the others as well. The darkness weighed heavily upon the hero. He knew that these final steps were to be taken shoulder to shoulder. The rest of the family had to be saved.
yet another light fending off the darkness. For now, time was short and haste was needed. The final battle is nearing its end. Bergson's knew that this was the final step. Love must prevail over hatred. The Supreme One. Master of all and master of nothing. His greatest fear was made absolute. He was left alone. Left alone to his misery and failure, to the unending cycle of despair and pain. He wished for its end, wished to bathe in an eternal darkness. Mercy prevailed as the wheel had turned back to kindness. That which was expelled from the heart returned. All the time apart melting away, along with all the pain, all the sadness and all the misery. Land met sky, two became one. Love ignited rapture as innocence flooded the space between breaths. Happiness and curiosity weaved, mixed and tangled in a dance a millennium in coming. As the one ascended, but will never leave, a family looked upon the mountain and land over which they were given ward. A family left exhausted was now more complete than before. A god once stricken with grief was now whole. And a land once cast into chaos is now left in serene balance. As the story comes to its conclusion, remember this. When the time spent in this land is looked back upon, when daring feats are recited along with victories and defeats, Remember that it was not a tale of heroes or villains, nor of good and evil, but one of family, and above all else, a tale of love. Go now, Guardian, and never forget.